Hello and welcome to our beginner's guide for creating print-ready files on the Canva online design platform. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you can see all of our videos that will keep you up to date on everything print. First, you are going to click on Create Design that is located at the top right of the page. A drop-down will appear. In this drop-down window you will want to find the icon at the bottom that has been captioned as custom size. Once you click on this icon, you will be shown a new window that will allow you to input a custom size of artboard. In the print world, artboard is just another name for the size of document you are looking to create. Make sure to change the units of measure to millimeters first. Next, input your desired document size. In this video we are going with an A5 document which is 148 times 210 millimeters. Then just hit create new design to get started. The next page will have your chosen artboard size presented to you. You will need to head to the top left and click on file, then view settings, then there are two steps to make sure you end up with the correct and perfect design for print. The first step is to click on add guides. Then click on the custom icon. The default may vary but make sure you change the columns and rows to zero and enter three millimeters in both boxes for the margins. These guides will allow you to visually see and make sure that you create your important elements within these lines. Next, head back to the top left and click on File, then View Settings, then Show Print Bleed. This will add an extra 3 mm to the edges of your artboard. Only your background should fill up this area to avoid having white edges around your final printed document. Let's run through some examples to make sure you are print ready. Remember, in mass production, a flyer design is laid up and cut from big sheets of paper. There is a slight error margin of the cutter being 3 mm, that's why we keep the text or important elements a total of 6 mm away from the overall size. In our example you will notice a few errors based on those guidelines. The first, being the background elements not being filled all the way to the edge, as you know this is extremely important to avoid white edges. The next is the text, if it was left here when printing, the cutter could potentially slice it off. This would leave us with a flyer that doesn't have everything that is super necessary to stay on there. Here is how the background should appear, you will see it goes throughout all of the guides and all the way to the edge. Now the text, designed completely within the quiet zones. These two key checks will ensure no loss of important information or elements, and no white tacky looking edges. Once this is done, please go to Share and select Download. The file type needs to be PDF print which is best for printing. Once this has been selected, please select the crop marks and bleed box. Here are the final prints of the two examples previously shown in the video. We hope you can understand and are now empowered to design your own amazing artwork that will be perfectly print ready. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching.